Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Celestial Farm Girl and we're here to do a reading for Leo Moon. Um, this is a reading about um, where the moon is smack dab in the middle of the constellation of Leo, reflecting all kinds of energies down. And uh, Mercury just be, happens to be there. So they're having, you know, a nice little ch chat among friends, Mercury the moon and um, Leo. And I love that. I love it. I love working with the moon. She is the divine feminine and she's all about feelings. And so that's why I do that. So we're going to look at your feelings, Leo, and see what's going on. I'm going to get an archetype card out of this deck here. Put the pen over there. I love you guys. I love Leo's. Um, I happen to be a Virgo, but my moon was in Leo when I was born, so um, they were side by side, the sun in Virgo and the moon in Leo. It was, I kind of like that uh, combination, a lot of fire and water action there, and some wonderful practical, and a practical sign of Virgo, and uh, lovely, lovely, lovely proud Leo. And when I say proud, I mean proud of being who they are, proud of what they've accomplished, proud of their children, proud of their family. You know, a big heart full of love. There's the, One should be proud that they have a big heart full of love, right? A big heart of joy to share with others whether they, you know, uh, understand Leo or not and may think that Leo is full of pride, but there's a difference between pride and ego. Pride is just being happy in who you are and who God created you to be, and Leo's like that. The orphan. Okay, Leo, you may be having some feelings of, gosh darn it, of aloneness, of, um, you know, um, aloneness, abandonment. Um, you may be going through your shadow side, looking at the parts of yourself that you don't really like. And I want to tell you, Leo, you need to love them the most. The feelings that you're getting, you need to love yourself through it and let yourself know that it's natural. What you're going through is natural, okay? These feelings, whatever they are. And you are not alone. You're never alone. Because the universe is always with us. And so are our ancestors, passed over loved ones. We are never, 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 never alone. Okay, so we have Virgo here. Seven and the sun. So um, seven is spiritual number. Uh, Virgo is all about practicality. And the sun, you know, that's, that's your planet, right, Leo? You are... Uh, the sun does shine through Leo, right? And, uh, you know, um, this is all about practical pride, which is exactly what I was talking about. You're proud of who you are and where you come from. You're very highly spiritual, very in touch with the universe um, and your intuition and love. You, you have a great big heart. That sun tells me so. And you know how to use it for practical things in order to get the things that you need. Seven, all about spirituality and love of life. Because if you're, if you love life, you're spiritual because life is a spiritual, you know, they say we're having a human experience, but do you, to be just a human is kind of dull. But when you add a dab of the mysticism and a few awesome hopes and beliefs to it, it becomes real magical, like the unicorn, right? You just got to have faith in things that, you know, you don't see. We don't see the air, but we know the air is there and we know we breathe, right? And that's kind of what faith is. It's knowing something's there. We might not see it, but we know it. And with that, that's all we need to make shine, right, Leo? You shine. Okay, so we have a heart here. 
and it looks like some this Leo may be in love or had given their heart at one time to someone and maybe feeling um, harmonic. I think this is a cello. You may be feeling sad and lonely and that's normal. That's normal. If you're feeling sad and, and um, you know, lonely, this looks like a violin. Feeling, feeling um, abandoned and orphaned. Well, Leo, God loves you, and so do I. I love you. And, yeah, I know what that feels like. And so we're going to look in the book on this, The Orphan, okay? Um, and that is five, change, change, five comes with change, Leo, you are the fifth astrological sign, if anybody knows about change, that would be you, right, Leo, because Leo is in constant change, the orphan, the wounded child, the abandoned, the beggar, to study the orphan is to truly study the deep and challenging energy of our time. We are ever more connected, yet face collective isolation. The refugee crisis haunts our planet. Children are separated from parents, and the earth begs for our attention. We are in a time of universal orphanage, of nature, of each other, of our own hearts. Take refuge in the fact that we all share this core wound and dilemma. It is normal to fear this card as it haunts the caverns of the soul. When it appears, take time, real time, to be in the presence of the feelings this card stirs in you. Let it humble you. What are you starving for? What is the deepest gift you could imagine given to others? What has been rejected is quite possibly what is most needed, dear one. Deep solace when you're in the light, deep acceptance, deep love. When dark, distanced, hates, avoids, controlling, limiting. Read Mary Oliver's The Kitten. So the orphan, hurt and traumatized. And as the card stated, we are all orphaned in this day and time, right? All of us somewhere along the line have been abandoned, left behind, um, you know, and I don't really like to bring it all up, but it is true. And the only way through that is, and you know that, Leo, is practicality. The sun is all about love. And um, what else did you get over there? Practicality, the sun, and spirituality. And spirituality is all about love of self and creation. Becoming one with creation, as you are one with creation. Everything a part of you is a part of all the elements within this creation. So you are a creator of creations, right? I'm going to get a drink of water. Okay, thank you. So, oh, sorry. So this reading is for the, uh, let's go with some fire. Let's start with this deck. What do we want to say to Leo towards the healing phase? So we got it out in the open really, really quick. And we know Leo loves himself because the sun come out. Seven came out, spirituality and Virgo, which means you are doing the day-to-day -day practical matters in your life as you work your way through um, things that you didn't quite understand the the, you know, of, of, of abandonment, orphaned, of pain, of uh, separation, of whatever kind of stress there was. So, 
okay? And it looks like you have begun dreaming. You are looking at ideas that you're pulling in from out of the clouds, out of the ethers. You're switching your life up a little bit. You haven't made it. Well, at this point, you're just looking over things, but we did just get started, right? You might be looking at moving. Sometimes you may feel like you could, you know, drink a beer. <laughs> um, sometimes, you know, you might be thinking about a house. Um, it looks like you've got some achievements that you want to acquire because there's a trophy up there. And uh, this looks like a pot full of fireworks, you know, which would be for a success party. So, yeah, the things that we all want in life, right? So what's the quickest direction to get to these things? Boy, this is this deep. I wish I'd have pulled out some deeper cards. Okay, Leo, what's the quickest way for Leo to begin putting their dreams in order? To accept the gift of faith and hope that you are a star, see that? That you're here on this planet to live a good life, a loving, kind, gentle life. That even though we have to go through the storm sometimes to get through the door on the other side where we're supposed to be. Yes. This is over on the other side of this portal. So this side of the portal may seem stormy or ruck ruckusy or maybe not just so great as you're moving and gliding towards this gift that the universe is uh, going to give you. Freedom. I see freedom. I see... You know, and meanwhile, remember, this is a journey, and don't forget to stop and smell the flowers along the way, Leo, to look at the positive things in your life that bring beauty into it, right? They're all along this road. A lot of beautiful things, roses, daisies, irises, yes, the lush fields, it's, it's a beautiful little walk that you have. So enjoy the time you have while you're getting to know yourself, learning to love yourself, and moving forward into your future so that when you get there, you know, you'll receive the seeds of justice, right? The crop, the harvest, you'll harvest the justice. You'll be that who you want to be. You'll bring your dreams into fruitation. And, um, you know, you'll stop and smell the roses along the way. It'll be a journey. You'll talk about it someday. It'll be a great story. We got seven of swords. I'm getting timing. Waiting on timing. At the right time, you will make those steps and gather up those ideas and bring them into the material world. Because swords are still thoughts and ideas, right? Thoughts and ideas. So here's these swords, these thoughts and ideas. You're sneaking off and away. You're sneaking away from over here because you've got these thoughts and ideas and you feel like you need to keep them to yourself. You're not sure if it's safe to share these things. And it could look like, you know, you're stealing away to others when in all actuality, you're looking for peace, justice. The message, justice and peace, to steal away to peace. And that's okay. That's okay, Leo. You're, you, you do what you need to do to bring, you know, your manifestations into this world. And everybody knows if we're going to manifest a good life, we got to have good thoughts, good feelings, a good heart, a good mind. 
and we need to have and keep that protected, right? We we can't do much creatively if we're in the Nine of Swords, and we've all been there. We've all been there, and nobody likes to talk about it less than I do, because yes, we have been there, but we don't want to go back there, and that's why we begin to steal away and create boundaries against that. Yes. We begin planting the seeds of disassociating ourselves, distancing ourselves, um, uh, what are they, disconnecting from those things that bring us the nine swords. Right, Leo? Because we have to take care of ourselves and we know that we have to sow. There's that seed. And here you are planting, you know, planting and uh, preparing yourself for the harvest. This is fire and earth. Yeah, cracking the shells of the seeds, fire and earth bringing them up with sunshine, shining on those seeds and bringing them up. Look at this, the high priestess. You're using your intuition. You're getting messages, downloads. Leo, messages and downloads guiding you, guiding you. You're following the yellow road, Leo, the yellow road guiding you to that place where you're gonna find personal satisfaction, love, peace, gentleness. You're planting the seeds of whatever. Okay, so I'm saying all those things because those would be the seeds that I would wanna plant in my life. You may be planting prosperity and abundance. Of course, we all want that too, right? Because what's good for you is good for me. What's good for me is good for you. And here you are. Okay. Well, it looks like you may be a little conflicted over the things you want. Might have a couple, you know, different opinions coming in, whether from you, spirit, or just, you know, um, people around you. What's the conflict over? What's Leo's conflict over? Now, the tower. Um, lightning struck and everything changed. And Leo, nothing will ever be the same. Right? Okay. How are we doing here? How are we going? How about this tower? What about the tower? It brought out the best in you. It brought out your manifestation skills. Whatever this tower swept away, Leo, which could have been the conflict, it brought out the magician and the manifesting power in you. So at this time, now you are beginning to manifest those seeds that you planted. And it looks like, you know, it's been a rough little spell off and on, off and on. But once you begin manifesting, you know, your thoughts begin manifesting. You want to seek peace the wheel of fortune, find your peace, find your solace, find your calm, and whatever it is you love, you are going to bring it into creation. I love the cogs. I call the cogs, those are the starborn, the sun children, the children of God, C-O-G, children of God. What does the cog do? Cogs are used in clocks and stuff to turn time, to change, uh, 
to move forward. Yeah, cogs are used to move backwards too in a car reverse. That's what sends the car in the back. It, they say it's a transmission, but it's the cog that joins the transmission to the wheels. And so children of God are powerful. And this tells me that you're one of those and you're very powerful, very strong heart, very strong mind, very strong soul, very strong intellect, very bright, very beautiful and shiny. Angels are watching over you, gargoyles. <laughs> yeah, lions and lambs and bears, oh my. You have a lot of ancestors, a lot of protectors. Okay, one more, because it looks like you're on your way now, uh, and the sun is going to shine bright on you. Let's get one more card. Let it be a good one. Yes, everything hidden will be revealed. Anything at this point that you're looking for, information or data or truth, will be revealed. That's three high arcanas in a row. You are very arcane, arcana, arcane. You're magical, you're magical. Leo sparks fry from your fingertips. Okay, you're very magical, Leo. All right, I've had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you. And don't forget to check out where the moon's at right now. It's right smack dab in the middle of Leo. And your feelings are valid. Your feelings are valid. Express them. Share them. Comfort yourself for them and with them and through them. I love you, Leo. Bye-bye.